So I'm currently traveling around the UK this month, um, exploring some of the best camping and glamping sites that are listed on HipCamp and sharing them and in experiencing them. And I wanted to share some of my favorites. So these are my top three uh, glamping sites in England. I'm in the forest of Dean in Gloucestershire at a glamping site called Barefoot and Bower. It's set on this gorgeous lake with a jetty and a rowing boat and there are six yurts here all with their own like shower and kitchen facilities. You know when you just turn up to a place and you immediately just feel calm and peaceful? Like it's so serene and scenic and peaceful and beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna give you a tour. That is so cute. This is where I will be. I was just, just sat there wondering, is there a shower? And then I've just spotted a door on the side of the kitchen. Oh look, it's like little saloon doors. How cool. Going for a row. made a fire and I'm just chilling with a drink and my book and there's my little yurt and I'm extremely happy. That is good night from me, my first night in this beautiful place and I will see you for a fun day tomorrow. Swim time. Good morning. I went for a swim with the fishes this morning, which was uh, fun. These guys thought they were going to eat me, but I survived. Um, and then thanks to the luxury of glamping, I had an amazing hot shower and I've washed my hair and I feel all fresh and ready for a, for a nice day. So I've set myself up with my book and some cushions and this view and the sunshine. And this is pretty much all I'm doing all day, so. so sad to be leaving this place I've had the best time um, I'll definitely be back here no question at all so have my little wheelbarrow packed up i um, gonna head back to the car and then get on the road so I've just got to my next hip camp which is in South Lakes back in the Lake District it is 
there um, and it's super cute. So I'll give you a tour. It's very nice to have a luxury of beds and a fully equipped kitchen um, because I've been staying in different places with different levels of luxury. Um, so yeah, this place looks super cozy. I've also got electric so I can charge up all of my technology, which is very nice. So I've got changed. My boyfriend has joined me for the evening. Hi. Uh, the sun is setting and we have the whole place to ourselves. So we're having a super cute date night. Uh, just out on the grass in front of our cute little hut. So the beautiful sunshine has gone and we were up all night with thunderstorms which was quite fun actually. So we're just packing up, getting ready to set off, had the most amazing stay here. Um, there are actually three little huts here, so there's Ash which we stayed in, that is a two bed, it has bunk beds. Then there is Birch which is this one here, which has a double pull out sofa bed and bunk beds, a little bit bigger so kind of a family pod. And then we have the really cute little hut at the end, which is called Oak. And this is adorable. And that has a foldable bed. And they all have an ensuite with showers and a full kitchen area. Um, Wi Fi as well. It's dog friendly. And it's super adorable. Look at the little bridge. So yeah, those are the three huts here at Woodman's Huts. You can book um, two bed or four bed or a double bed. Um, and there's also the communal little fire pit room as well. So yeah, really recommend staying here if you want to explore the Lake District and um, enjoy a cozy little retreat at the same time. This has to be one of the most beautiful views of any hip camp I've stayed in. They just go on for miles and miles. It has everything I could possibly need. It has the most comfy looking double bed. It has a Yeti ice box caller with an ice pack in for anything that I need to keep cold. It has a little trunk here, a little hob, some pans and some plates and cutlery and a little log burner here as well to keep warm. So. This place is so beautiful. I'm gonna have a very nice time here. <laughs> mm. Having a beautiful dinner with this lovely view. Not too shabby.
So the first hip camp was Barefoot and Bower, and that was a yurt in the Forest of Dean in Gloucestershire. Um, perfect to just kind of hole up and not leave if you don't want to. That's what I did. Um, but also uh, locally, there are so many hills and walks and rivers and plenty of things to go and sightsee and, um, and explore there as well. It does have a full kitchenette with a fridge and uh, a compost toilet and a, and a hot shower, which is amazing. And um, just a perfect place to go and unwind and relax and retreat from everywhere. I was only like an hour from home and I felt like I was worlds away. So that was a really nice um, experience. Then I went to Woodman's Huts in the Lake District. It's in the south of the lakes. So perfect base for exploring a lot of the fells and the lakes in the south and kind of south to mid Lake District. I love how quaint and um, cute that the huts were. Um, also everything you need within the one hut. So sometimes in uh, glamping sites you have to kind of go outdoors to find the shower or the toilet. So it was nice not to have to leave the hut and having the ensuite bathroom as well as the kitchen kind of in the same little space. Again, fridge and full cooking facilities and electricity. Um, so perfect base for kind of everything that you need while you're away on a lovely, quiet, peaceful retreat in the Lake District. And finally, I went to Northumberland and I stayed in Bamberg under canvas. And that was such a beautifully kind of thought out um, hip camp location. Um, coming out of your bell tent to just meadows and fields and endless rolling hills ahead of you was just so peaceful. And again, Northumberland can be quite busy and um, very popular, especially the time of year that I went. But going back to my bell tent was just, it felt like I was worlds away from civilization, which is something I love when I'm staying away by myself. So it is a little bit more on the glamping side in that um, you are cooking on like a gas stove and you're just using what you have in the tent there with you. But there is also a kitchenette and a bathroom in a like a a horse carriage which was really cute as well so again hot shower flushing toilet running water everything that you need on site as well as the quaint bell tent and the comfiest bed and a little wood burner as well in there for the colder nights so yeah it was just a really more of a unique stay staying in a bell tent like that and especially when the rain was kind of hitting the tent it was like the most peaceful experience so yeah those are my top three stays in england um thank you so much for watching the video if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below and also the links to all of these stays will be in the video description with a 15 percent discount code so go and check those out and thank you for watching